Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 54. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Ad valorem tax is levied on basis of which among the following? So ad valorem tariff is calculated on the basis of the value of imported goods expressed as a percentage of such value. For example, an ad valorem tariff on 10% of an imported car worth US $10,000 would lead to a requirement to pay $1,000 as customs duty. A systematic record of all economic transactions completed between residents of a country and the rest of the world in a year is known as balance of payment. The balance of international payments or balance of payments refers to the systemic and summary record of a country's economic and financial transactions with the rest of the world over a period of time. The three main components of balance of payment are current account, capital account and official reserve transactions. A statement of estimated receipts and expenditures called annual financial statement or budget has to be placed before parliament for each financial year. The above provision has been enshrined in which among the following articles of Constitution of India. Article 112 of the Indian Constitution says that every year the President of India shall cause to be laid before both the Houses of Parliament the annual financial statement. This is popularly known as budget. Cause to be laid here means that the persons through whom President acts is Finance Minister of the country who is known as the custodian of the nation's finances. The budget gives the complete picture of the estimated receipts and expenditures of the government of India for that year. This picture is actually based upon the budget figures of the previous years. Birth rate is number of births per dash of the population during one year. Births are usually measured using the birth rate that is the number of live births per thousand people. Deaths are usually measured using the death rate, that is the number of deaths per thousand people. Migrations is the movement of people in and out of an area. Births and deaths are the natural causes of the population change. The difference between the birth rate and the death rate of a country is called the natural growth rate. Capitalism is based upon laissez-faire system. What is laissez-faire system? Lassie's fair refers to the economic policy of letting owners of industry and business set working conditions without interference. This policy favors a free market unregulated by the government. The term comes from a French phrase that means let do. Those goods which have positive relationship between price and quantity demanded are known as Giffen good. In economics and consumer theory, a Giffen good is a product that people consume more of as the price rises and vice versa, violating the basic law of demand in microeconomics. For any other sort of good, as the price of the good rises, the substitution effect makes consumers purchase less of it and more of substitute good. For most goods, the income effect reinforces this decline in demand for the good. But a Giffen good is so strongly an inferior good in the minds of consumer that this contrary income effect more than the offsets the substitution effect. And the net effect of the goods price rise is to increase demand for it. Bad money, if not in limited quantity, drives good money out of circulation. The statement is from which among the following laws? The correct answer is Gresham's law. In economics, Gresham's law is a monetary principle stating that bad money drives out good. For example, if there are two forms of commodity money in circulation, which are accepted by law as having similar face value, the more valuable commodity will gradually disappear from circulation. The law was named in 1860 by Henry Dunning Macleod after Sir Thomas Gresham, who was an English financier during the Tudor dynasty. However, there are numerous predecessors. The law has been stated earlier by Nicholas Copernicus. For this reason, it is occasionally known as the Gresham Copernicus Law. Which among the following is a suitable term for the state of economy in which economic activity is slowing down but wages and prices continue to rise? The correct answer is stagflation. 
Stagflation refers to persistent high inflation coupled with high unemployment and stagnant demand or growth in economy. High inflation plus low economic growth plus low employment generation equals stagflation. Agriculture, irrigation and power projects were given highest priority in which among the following plans? The correct answer is first five-year plan. The first five-year plan was made for the duration of 1951 to 1956. It was based on the harrod damar model. Its main focus was on the agricultural development of the country. This plan was successful and achieved a growth rate of 3.6%, which was more than its target. Which among the following is the oldest insurance company of India? The correct answer is Oriental Life Insurance Company. The Oriental Life Insurance Company was the first life insurance company in India that was established in Calcutta in 1818, though it failed in 1834. That's all for this quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.